Hello, kids. It's story time. Today, I'm going to tell you a story called "The Windy Day," written by Anna Milburn and Elena Temporin. Have you ever wondered what sways the trees and makes leaves dance across the grass? It's nothing you can see. It's nothing you can hold. But if you go outside on a windy day, you can feel it. It's the air moving around. It ruffles your hair and snatches your hat, almost as if it wants to play. If you roll out the string of a big, bright kite, then throw the kite into the air. And run as fast as you can. The wind might catch it and make it fly. It dips and dives and swoops around, held up by the invisible wind. All at once, a blustery gust tosses the kite into a tree. The wind is rough and tumbly along the cliff. It rushes in from the sea and stumbles over the bumpy land. But out on the open sea, the wind blows steadily for miles and miles. It fills a boat's sails, making them billow, and pushes the boat across the waves. High in the sky, seagulls cry. And their voices are carried away by the wind. They tilt their wings to catch the breeze and ride it back to shore. It's too blowy for little birds to fly around, so they huddle up on a branch and wait for the wind to go away. At the foot of the tree, there is a sheltered spot. Where animals hide from the chilly wind, tucked into holes and piles of fallen leaves. As the wind rustles a sycamore tree, its trailing seeds are shaken free. They spin down and down and down. The seeds lie scattered on the ground. Soon. They will start to grow into new sycamore trees. Further along the cliff tops stands a row of tall white windmills. Wind blowing in from the sea slowly pushes their sails around. The turning windmills make electricity, which is sent through wires. To a nearby town, it lights up the lights there and makes all kinds of things work. You might wonder if the restless wind ever gets tired from blowing, but even when the wind dies down where you are, it's always blowing somewhere. And that is the end of our story.